Hey right, y'all, welcome back. What we're going to talk about this is saltwater fly. Uh, it's mostly geared toward tarpon. Uh, it's a fly that's very easy to make and it's very effective if you're fishing saltwater. It's called the Black Death. What we are tying on tonight, this is a size uh, one aught in short shank saltwater. The uh, thread that we're tying with tonight is Black 70 Denier. We'll talk about the materials as we go. Uh, we're going to start about three hook eyes back and start setting us a good base. We're going to come into the bend just a little bit. You can change the colors up on this fly and fish it for striped bass uh, and, and steelhead, actually. Works pretty good, too. All right, so we're going to come in with our telling material. Uh, this is two pieces of black saddle hackle married up. We are going to tie those in on the side of the hook. Take a look at them. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna take one under wrap. It shall help separate those just a little bit more. I'm gonna come in on my side. I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, for these feathers, you wanna tie them uh, dull side away from you. And if when you're tying on your side of the vise, you wanna tie these, uh, the dull side towards you. That'll give that tail a nice little flare. Soft wrap, take a look at it, make sure it looks good. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and secure those in. Now we're gonna come in with uh, two strands of black crinkle flash. <laughs> tie those in right on the side. Fold it back over itself. That's where you get the two strands. You only really have to tie in one. Uh, you don't really wanna overdress this fly. Come in on my side, do the same thing. Make sure you lock it before you set it. Good secure wraps. And once we get here, we're gonna come in with two pieces of black schlopping. This is what we're gonna use to palmer forward. We're gonna tie this in by its tips. I'm gonna come in, cut my little V-notch. Looks just like that. Catch that right in. We're gonna preen this stuff back as we wrap. Build a nice little skirt for this thing. Uh, like I said, if you uh, want to, you can change the colors up. Uh, a lot of predator fish will eat this. You can fish it for musky. You can, uh, like I said, steelhead. Salmon will eat it, uh, but what this one's for is tarpon. If you guys hadn't already, uh, go ahead and pause the video and drop down and click that subscribe button for us. That way you guys get uh, updates when we upload new videos. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. We enjoy making it for you, and we're going to keep doing it as long as you guys keep watching. All right, now when you come in with this one, we're going to tie this one in by the butt. Same thing applies. We're going to turn this into our little V-notch. Like so. Tie it in right on the side. Back up to our original tying point. And just like before, we're going to start taking touching turns. I'll stop just a little bit short. Catch that in. Come in and clean that out. Good secure and wrap. We're going to rotate our fly over. Now we're going to come in with a piece of red marabou. Good fluffy stuff. We're going to find that center V. I'm going to snap that out. That way we can split the hook. Just like so. Pinch and loop. And we're going to slowly pull this forward. A little too tight there. Let's get this out. One more time. 
if you mess up, like I always say, if you're messed up, just just stop what you're doing and slow down and get it right the first time. I'm gonna pull that to about right there. Good secure wrap. Rotate it over. I'm gonna take a look at this at this point. Make sure it is split the hook shank. 50-50 halfway up the sides. Just kind of roll it around with your thumb and index finger. And secure that in. We're going to do the same thing on the top, except this time we're not going to pull out that center piece. We are going to get rid of this crazy stuff at the bottom, though. Come in. Loose. Pull. Good secure wrap. And clean those out. Get rid of all this extra stuff. Make sure you pull your thread out of the way when you're doing this part. Okay. Back to the original time point. Counterclockwise spin your thread, open it up. You can tie this with heavier thread. A lot of times I'll tie this with mono. It works really good. Uh, but for this pattern right here, I like to uh, use the black thread because the original pattern has a black nose on it. Get all the red covered up. Pretty close anyway. I've actually fished this in orange and blue for smallmouth too. Works really good. All right, we're going to come in and whip. One will do it because we're going to come in with our head cement and close this bad boy off. Good even coat. And that's it that's all there is to that one that's the black death hope you guys enjoy this uh, tie them up like i said experiment with the colors try them for different predatory fish uh, like share subscribe go check us out on instagram and facebook uh, if you're not like i said in the beginning video already subscribe go ahead and click that button don't forget to tell on the bell icon that way you guys get notifications when we upload and if there's anything you ever want to see like i always say uh, just leave it in the comments below we'll get to it until next time